Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome to my dining room table. Here we are. You may have guessed by the title of this video and the two boxes of hair dryers sitting next to me. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We will be doing an unboxing of a real Dyson and comparing it side by side with my fake Dyson. <laughs> if you've watched my previous video, you know that my dear sweet husband purchased me this special limited edition red Dyson for my 30th birthday. And when it stopped working, I called Dyson to warranty it, only to find out that it was a counterfeit. So in the name of wavy curly science, I thought it would be fun to compare the real Dyson purchased from a certified seller to the fake one and see just how close it was because I was absolutely fooled for a year and a half before I found out that mine was a fake. First off, I'm noticing that the boxes are different. This box is square. It feels really very cardboardy. This box, I actually watched several unboxings in preparation for this video. And this style box, actually reminds me a lot of some of the other unboxings that I've seen. It's one of these. Why are you not coming out? It's moving so slowly. It's one of those. I've seen the unboxings from other people. They have the foam. This is the fake, fake Dyson, real Dyson. I did purchase this one from Best Buy. It was in stock near me, which was very convenient because shipping in 2020 has been precarious. So I ran out and picked this up from Best Buy because they had it in stock and Best Buy is a verified seller. And that is a potential reason for why it is packaged like this. All right, so it comes set up like so. A very pretty white box that says Dyson on it. Ah, okay. This is the carrying case to protect your dryer as you travel. Wow, this is really nice. It's velvet, it has a beautiful copper piping on it. I think the color is because it's the special gift edition. It has magnets, it has pockets inside. Okay, stop playing with the bag. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. And then I believe this right here is the dryer itself. There we go. So slowly, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty. Getting stuff out of the way. Also, it's very cold here today. Do y'all like my sweater? All right, so I'll show you it in the box. Oh, that is just stunning. So first glance, everything looks the same as with my counterfeit Dyson. We've got the same buttons. We've got the cold shot. We've got the on off switch. They feel different. We'll compare those side by side, very up close. You have your air filter right here. Okay, now I thought my air filter was different than the standard Dyson and it's not. So I'm wondering if the differences in the air filter are between the Pro and 
their standard. They have a pro model designed specifically for hairdressers and the like. Go ahead and slide this off. So I'm looking at these side by side. The first major visible difference that I see is that these two plugs are completely different. This one is to my fake Dyson and this plug is to the brand new real Dyson. You have the reset button. Now that is something that the Dyson representative that I talked to made very clear to me that all real Dysons have this reset button. And if they don't, it's more than likely a counterfeit. That's what the Dyson representative told me. But then again, I see people in different countries that have different plugs. And let's say in Canada, they buy a Dyson and the plug doesn't have the red reset button, but apparently they bought it from the Dyson website. Don't come for me in the comments. I don't have the answer to that yet. There's also this box, which I don't know exactly what that is, but I am guessing that it's some sort of surge protector for the Dyson. The counterfeit one has no box on it. All right, so let's look at these side by side. Everything there looks the same. Everything here looks the same. They're very similar weights. I believe this one's just slightly heavier, but it could be because of the cord. The cord on the real Dyson is definitely much thicker. All right, the attachments that came with the real Dyson look very, very similar to the attachments that came with my fake Dyson. The diffusers look identical. I believe they even have the same number of prongs. The smoothing nozzles look the exact same for both. Now, the concentrator nozzles look a little bit different. Don't mind this one. I may or may not have mutilated it, but even if I hadn't mutilated it, the real Dyson concentrator nozzle is significantly wider and more narrow than the one that came with my fake one, but that's pretty much the same. It came with this mat that you're supposed to set it on so that it doesn't slip and fall off your counter. Fake Dyson came with the exact same thing. They are the same size and both came with this little, pretty useless little hook actually. If I'm being honest, I don't, I never use that. I don't even know where I would hook it. That's just weird. All right, I'm gonna change my camera angle so that we can really take a close look at both of these side by side and I will be right back. All right, here we are up super close and personal. This is the counterfeit Dyson and this is the brand new gift edition. I mean, just look at that. Oh, I really, really love the white silver and the color combo, it's giving me life. All right, let's look at the minute differences between these two. So at first glance, they're exactly the same. We've got the heat settings on both sides. We've got the on off switch. We've got cold shot. We've got fan speed. The little fans even look the same, but I do see one small difference. The on off switch on the real Dyson feels smoother. The on off switch on the counterfeit doesn't feel quite as smooth. There's also a little painted line on the real Dyson on off switch that is not on the counterfeit. And as I was talking about earlier, when I said I was gonna get more up close and personal, you can definitely see a difference in the width of each of the cords. The real Dyson has a thicker cord and the fake Dyson has a skinnier cord. Another minute difference that I'm seeing is that the filter sizes on the holes are slightly different. On the real Dyson, this is what it looks like. 
And when you slide it off, this is what we're dealing with. On the fake Dyson, you can see that the holes are just slightly smaller, but that is the same. These are just slightly, slightly bigger, not much. There's also this text on the bottom showing where it was made. Let me read that. It's just the warning saying, do not drop this in the bathtub. Oh, this is different. The text on the real one is different than the text that's on the fake one. Now it's possible that from year to year, they do change what they write there. But on the real Dyson, it says danger electrocution if possible, if dropped in tub and water unplug after using. And it has an intertech label on it. The fake Dyson says it's wattages, voltage. It says warning, do not use this applicator near what? No, it doesn't even say near. It says applicant near water made in Malaysia. So on the bottom of my fake one, it says made in Malaysia, whereas the real Dyson is showing that it is made by Intertech right there. And they put the voltage, wattage, all that on right there, not right there. Fake Dyson, put it all right here. We'll look at the tops real quick. The fonts look pretty identical. They've put them in two different colors, but that could just be because this is the silver and this is the dark but fake Dyson put it in the right spot. And the last thing we're gonna look at real up close are the cords and these tags, because the tag is what got me. The tag has a bunch of Dyson info on it, it's fake. All right, there's that special box on the real one. Fake Dyson, right here, real Dyson. The red reset, test, warning, to reduce the risk of electric shock, do not remove and modify or immerse this plug. Nothing like that on the fake one. And on the fake Dyson, there is this tag here that has a barcode, a Dyson serial number. For patent information, see Dyson.com slash patents made in Malaysia by Dyson LTD. All right, it may be possible that Dyson has different companies, different factories in different locations, but the real Dyson tag is very similar. It's just slightly bigger. Oh, there's more information on the back. Need more help, contact to Dyson. I did, I did. All right, real Dyson, it's made by Intertech. There's a serial number. It tells the weight. It says for patent information, see Dyson. Made in the Philippines by Dyson Technology Limited. There are small differences here. Need help? Contact Dyson. Dyson's contact info. This tag, which tells you not to use it in the bathtub because you'll shock yourself. All right then. The last thing I wanted to do in this video is to let you hear how they sound different. But as you may remember, well, that was weird. It hasn't turned on for a long period of time in two weeks. You've been broken. What is happening? It's working now. All right, well, you got to hear how the fake Dyson sounds. That's funny. This is how the real Dyson sounds. There is a very distinct change in pitch. Now, this may be because this thing's been broken, but this 
is actually louder and more annoying to listen to than the real one. The real one has a higher pitch and it's not blasting my eardrums. That's really interesting. I still can't get over that this is still turning on. All right, I'm checking the heat now. Okay, <laughs> fake one doesn't get very hot. The real one, when both are turned up all the way to their hottest settings, the real one gets real hot, real fast. This one only gets up to 140 degrees. <gasps> I wonder if I still have my thermometer. Let's check how hot they get. Yep, I still have my thermometer. All right, let's see how hot this gets. Now, because I'm me and I do way too much of this sort of thing on the internet, I have proof when I tested the temperature of this hairdryer before, it got up to 120 degrees, I believe, and stayed there. Today, I can only get it up to 100 degrees and it wouldn't get any hotter. Now let's see how hot the real Dyson gets. I could only get it to up to 190 degrees. It did stop at 190 degrees. So it's fair to say, fake Dyson does not get as hot as real Dyson. Real Dyson, use with caution. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do have some special plans for real Dyson over here. You will want to make sure that you are subscribed and have that notification bell clicked because if this channel ever hits a hundred thousand subscribers, something very special in the form of a giveaway with a limited edition gift copper hairdryer may be happening. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this style of video and are interested in seeing more unboxing type videos, maybe with some hair care products or some more hair tools, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It'll let me know that you are interested in that kind of thing. Also, leave a comment down below. Did you spot any more differences between these two that I missed talking about in this video? And yeah, that's it. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you later. Bye!